Hey, what's going on, you guys? Boys, Wife Boom here with another mukbang video. What's going on? How oh, are you? Did you want to wear glasses? Yes. Oh, sorry. Start again. No, I'm not starting again. I would like to see my food if I wear my glasses. Usually you wear contacts. Well, you know, I didn't want to look cute today. Do I look cute with these glasses on? Anyways. Ooh, 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 it's dripping. We'll get some paper. Oh, here we go. Just leave it there. That's fine. <laughs> Any more interruptions you would like to let me know? No, no, no. Nah. Start again. No, nah, I'm not going to start again. We, we live. We come in live. So. Enchiladas. Bye. Ebi. Ebi. Ebi Ladas. They're keto. They are keto, actually. Yep. Chicken enchiladas. This is exciting because we got the rotisseries from our local spot here in uh, El Barrio. And the, what we've noticed that the the bodega little super, supermercado like little rotisserie chicken that they sell here are crazy seasoned and like sazon and adobo so the, the the rotisserie chickens here are amazing so basically i bought a couple and i like shredded them up seasoned them a little bit more uh low carb tortillas what else onions peppers enchilada sauce cheese sauce salsa, salsa. She, she filmed the recipe and she's gonna do a TikTok on her. Uh, go follow her on TikTok. What's your TikTok? You wanna go ahead and promote yourself? Evelyn underscore C. I think. Evelyn underscore C. Okay, do you, do you have any upcoming events you wanna uh, talk about and promote yourself a little bit? TikTok. TikTok? Uh, YouTube? <laughs> uh, <Chicken>. Phone? <laughs> Chicken? <laughs> Come film me take this first bite. Okay. All right, we're doing enchiladas, homemade. Let's go in. I got some guacamole, sour cream. I got a serrano pepper here with some sliced jalapenos. And um, I didn't think I was gonna need a, well, let me get a thumbnail too. All right, you can you can record me while I do the thumbnail. Just keep recording and I'll take all the funny bits. You're, you're in the shop, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Put a little bit of sour cream on top and guac. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna be better tomorrow, but I'm sure it's good now already. First bite of my wife's homemade enchiladas. Let's go in. Mm. It's so good right now. And tomorrow, even better. It's really saucy. Do we put more sauce in this as usual? Mm. Come over here and show this. Look at that. Yeah, two sabies. So round of applause everybody. Let's congratulate Abby. In the comments below Woo! for this amazing enchilada meal. That shit, oh my, it's spicy. <laughs> Put serrano in it. Un poquito spicy. Oh my god. Thank you, mama. That's so good. Mm. I got some chips. Pepsi Zero. Um, I don't know if this particular viewer fan base, whatever, is watching, but I wanna I wanna thank all the people that either lived in my neighborhood or still live in my neighborhood because uh, we have, we've both literally been so consistent <clears throat> with our social media um, here locally and in other parts of New York City and Manhattan. Um, but I love the fact that we're spotlighting a lot of food spots 
whether it's restaurants or mom and pops or food trucks or events or uh, even like little items that we just love from our local bodegas or supermercados or, or just anything. So we've been just consistently doing it without needing anything back from anybody. We just like doing this kind of stuff and it's really fun. But now we've been so consistent that we've been getting so many locals or ex-locals just commenting the most beautiful things like oh i love the fact that you're walking through my old neighborhood oh i used to eat those chickens they're the best or i used to go there and i used to go to this place this place that's pl you know it's just little things like that <laughs> yeah, make make doing content that much better and and i don't i don't want to be one of these people that's like i make content for you guys blah blah, blah. I, I don't i make content for me because it's fun you just happen to be on this ride so Communicating with each other and commenting back and forth is, is really nice and it's really fun. And if you live in New York City and you do a lot of takeout, that's great and all. But please go to your local bodega, go to your local supermercado, your little sea town, little mom and pop Mexican grocery stores, any of those, and get you hop on in there 11 a.m get you a fresh rotisserie bro and it was funny because you know down south the most popping like grocery store you go to uh for like a great rotisserie chicken is this uh place called Publix, and you get the mojo mojo you get the mojo chicken it's the best rotisserie you can get i love it it's better but this it's like if you took the mojo chicken, right, mama? And it was like twice as better. And cheaper, too. And cheaper. It was seven bucks. We bought two of them joints. Mmm. It's kind of like your mom's turkey. Yeah. It is kind of like my mom's turkey. Because she hooks it up with sazon, adobo, all that stuff. It's just so good. It's just so good. You know what's crazy? Like, if I had to critique this right now with something negative, it's not even really a negative. It is really saucy to the point where it's almost soupy. But the great thing about that is that it's going to shh for tomorrow. Because every bite that I take, sorry, I'm talking to Abby. Every bite that I take, it's super saucy and, and moist and everywhere is great. But it's all like, I still have so much sauce just like left over. It doesn't affect the No, 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 just have, no, the flavor is on point. But it's kind of like it's the equivalent of making a really saucy spaghetti. Yeah, and then the next day it's like perfect, like still moist, yeah. still saucy, but it's soaked into the noodles. That's what I'm saying with this. Now the comments are gonna be like, nah, fuck that. You fucking don't ever dis <laughs> don't ever make fun of the queen. But she's dead though. Oh my god. Hell. More. Oh, fellow New Yorkers that um, live in a pre-war building, uh, like mine, this building, pre-war means pre-World War, World War I, so this, this building was, this, this building was built in 1905, and um, so anybody in New York City or anybody that lives in a pre-war building, um, happy heat day, we got our heat on. Oh, yesterday. We got our heat on yesterday. Um, you can scoop the, the liquid and stuff with your chips. Hell yeah. Now, if you don't know, pre-war buildings, they turn on the heat around this time. We don't control the heat. 
So the whole entire building, all six floors, they just put it on a setting that's the legal setting for people to not be able to die. And that's gonna be the heat. That's what you get. Everybody's equal. It has to be over 68 in each apartment. It has to be over 68? Yeah. That's what it legally said? In each apart apartment, and I think overnight it has to be over 64 or something. Those are the- That's kinda hot. Legal minimums. I don't feel like that. I'd lower than that. That's probably what it's supposed to be. 68? You think it's lower than 68? No. Because I don't... <laughs> what? What? My wifey's being a little seductress over here. No, I'm not. You're, you're not? just being weird. Tell them what you're doing. Sitting on the couch? Doing what? Nothing. Okay. For fun. <laughs> Um, so the heat's on. We have a heater, one of those old furnace, like old school looking heaters in the bedroom. We have one in the living room and then we have a, a pole in the bathroom. I'm not even kidding. The pole goes from all the way down to the first floor and it heats up the bathroom. That's just how it is. People have survived like that for years and that's what we got now. And if it gets too hot, open the window, doc. It's cold outside. Let the air and turn on a fan. You do not control the heat. That's how it goes. We went from a high check downtown Nashville apartment with a whole nest, you know, nest, the digital little thermostat to put a hoodie on. <laughs> I don't feel cold at all, though. No, it worked, uh, worked great. Mm hmm Now, what kind of noises do our heaters make? Oh my god. Do the yeah. noise. <laughs> Rocky. See, tell him how Rocky first reacted. Oh, he started barking. He was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> is it the rats? <laughs> Rocky was not a fan of the new noises. But now now he's good. He got used to it. Now he's good. So Rhino Pepper. You want a raw Serrano Pepper? Hmm? You want a raw one? A raw Serrano Pepper? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> That's too hot. But I'll tell you what, these heaters work great. It's one of those things where like, they figured it out. And it's free. And it's all, and it's free. It's free heat. We don't gotta mess with it. If it gets too hot, we'll open the window. They figured it out 100 years ago. This is how they lived. 120 years ago. That's how people lived in this building. Imagine getting an apartment here in 1905. Be like, damn, you know, saw that new building opening up mm -hmm. next to the fire department? That's only for the rich people. Oh, it's only for the rich people, man. I can't live in there. Mm -hmm. They got a bedroom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a running toilet? But this floor wasn't on here yet. It was just five floors. Are you sure about that? I'm not. Are you guessing? I'm not sure. But I confidently like to say I am. <laughs> I'm full. And technically there's one, two, three, four, five. That I ate all five and a half. And that's what? Two and two and three and a half? Three? Is, two and a half. Is the front looking good? Can I just make a video of that? <laughs> yeah, you could. The front looks great. The front looks like I still have all five enchiladas. Y'all want to see? Oh, it's dripping. I didn't, I didn't notice. Fuck. Why'd you do that, girl? Dang. Sorry. Is it warm in the middle of the 
It's, it's still very warm. <laughs> so the enchiladas going about right here. Oh my God, the bubbles. There it is. There's the front. This is just a cutting board, guys. Look, remember when you guys freaked out when I showed everybody this? I mean, Nashville. I'm like, oh, God, that's not like a full blown table that rises. That you put stuff on? Yeah, that you put stuff on. And then the thing underneath, that's like a, just a wooden wine box, right? That's right. That we use for Rocky's uh, bowls. Because we're too cheap to buy the elevated bowls. But a lot of people like that. Yeah, true. And I don't want the elevated bowls because now I can put Rocky's, you know, porcelain bowls. In That's true. Porcelain. Did you guys see my Jollibee video? Yeah, did you? Did you? Answer. <laughs> this is alive. <laughs> Do you, do you miss car mukbangs? I miss them. Yeah? Do you miss your Barely. car? Do you miss your I car? I do not miss that car at all. It's giving me anxiety. Why? Should we do mukbangs and the train? No. I come to another muck four banger. We end the six train. We should get food, go to the garage, ask to get our car, but not drive anywhere. To Climb? Drive. No, to yeah. where it's at. Yeah. Our car is in one of those like weird elevator like parking. Like if you go to the parking garage, you give them a number and then they like. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's not, it's not. We're gonna sell the car. I was holding on to what, thinking I was gonna fucking drive around. So like, oh damn, going down the West Side Highway. The no. All I gotta do is go outside and look at the cars and all that honking and all like the congestion and all the people. No, I'm not doing it. I've driven through New York plenty of times. It's fun. When I was younger, I have gotten in trouble too many times with the law that involved my car. And I'm not risking it. <laughs> oh my God, what did you do? I used to be a drag racer. I just dress up as a woman <laughs> and raise my. <laughs> oh my I know. I try to like flip the joke and double it up like a drag racer, but like a drag racer. You get it? Jokey to drag, wiggy wag. That was a whack joke. I know. Sorry. There's no dessert. Do you guys want to see the donuts from Little? Uh, Alabama, roll tide, got my Alabama hoodie on. So we go to Little, which is basically an Aldi's, but upgraded. And that's where we shop. Here is a jelly filled donor. Oh my God. Oh, there it is. There it is. Mmm. This one kind of stuck though. Didn't really hook it up, hook it up. Oh. See? The past the past couple ones, they like filled, filled that. Well, look at me. I'm doing a 20 minute video. You're welcome, Trina. Mm -hmm. Are we 15 minutes? What kind of suave boom video is it? 15 minutes? Cheers. Well, guys, thank you again so much for hopping on my TikToks and watching all my YouTube shorts, showing me so much love with all this New York stuff. We're going to keep it going. It's the holiday season. Christmas in Manhattan, New York City. We're doing it up. So thumbs up the video if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe, and we will see y'all on the next video, which will probably be on Thursday. All right, y'all. Peace.